Hey everybody, um, today we're going to talk about New York City, expectations versus reality. Um, for full context, I've only been in New York for three months now, so perhaps not the best person to be talking about this, but I tend to be a pretty honest and observant person, so here we go. Uh, my past two videos, not the most positive um, in terms of attitude, so I'm going to start with something more positive and less critique-y. Um, expectation for New York is that people are going to be rude and mean and hustle culture and uh, just not very nice. Reality, people are very nice. Uh, I've had multiple times where I was very lost uh, in the subway or coming out of the subway, walking somewhere, and navigating through the various numbered streets uh, across all of Manhattan, the various boroughs and the neighborhoods. Um, people are very happy and down to help. If anything, all the native New Yorkers who clearly know what they're talking about um, jump to help you. Um, and they're very, very nice all the time. Uh, people who work at restaurants are very nice. Uh, people that I've just encountered every day um, at bars, at clubs, um, out in the walking distance of the neighborhoods, people doormen of our uh, apartment building. New Yorkers, uh, people say, are mean and, and hustly. Uh, New Yorkers are some of the nicest people I've ever met. Um, maybe I've just received preferential treatment somehow, but really enjoyed uh New Yorkers and uh, interacting with them definitely does not hit the expectations. Um, now starts my long train of negative things. Um, the expectations with New York, I think, are is that the food is great. Um, the food is good, and and, and don't get me wrong, and the food is uh, definitely at some level. Um, but I, I've not experienced amazing food, like the food that I've tasted in Chicago. I would argue Chicago has better food. And uh, to come off fully pretentious, um, I've had pretty expensive meals here, uh, meals that are known to be good. Um, and frankly, after being here for three and a half months, the best food I've ever had in New York is still Joe's Pizza. Um, I've yet to have good food. Um, I've been to Michelin star places, and I've had better food in Chicago and other cities. Um I frankly think that because there's so many people here and a lot of restaurants get packed and get lines uh, out the door, even though they're not that great, and that overflows to other restaurants that are still not that great, but they remain in business because there's much more people um, than there is rest restaurant capacity. Um, so bottom line, I feel like a lot, of, a lot of restaurants that don't deserve the level of attention slash business get it um, simply because there's a lot of people, um, which then turns into this... Uh, location-based thing where the food might not be that good, but it ideally it happens to be in an ideal location, which allows it to flourish in business. Um, as a big foodie, I've been relatively disappointed, uh, especially given how much flair that uh, New York restaurants seem to get. Once again, Joe's Pizza, probably the best thing I've had so far, and I don't think anything is going to beat it. Um, Going out in New York, you think it's going to be so cool and you're going to run into celebrities and all this jazz. Maybe I'm just not rich enough yet to experience the cool, as <coughs> cool aspect of New York. But um, I, uh, going out in New York is, is fun, but it's very limiting. Um, and, and maybe, again, maybe it's my budget and maybe it's just I don't know the right people, but... Every weekend, you either go into Lower East Side or um, Koreatown if you're Korean, or if you're not Korean and you're into that kind of stuff, um, or Chelsea, a very limited array of things. You can go to Brooklyn for more hip things. Um, but, you know, it's your typical, you go out, uh, before you go out, you're like, this night's going to be awesome, and then you get in, and, and it's fun for the first 10 minutes, then you realize this is the exact same thing I did last week, and I'm paying $30 for a beer, and what am I doing here? Um yeah, New York life is not as sexy and cool as you'd imagine it to be. Um, I've had relatively mediocre nights. It's fun in the sense that there's always people and places are packed. And if you're an extrovert like me, you'll probably have fun with that. But in terms of the actual experience, um, not insane excitement. Um, it, I just mentioned it a little bit, but uh, I think there's an expectation, um, kind of similar to Southern California, that New York is where you meet celebrities um i have yet to encounter or come across a celebrity here um i would say the most famous person i know in new york is uh myself and i'm not famous so uh yeah you're not gonna run into random people um that are famous in new york that's not a thing um i think there is a 
thought that this is a huge city, and New York definitely is a huge city, especially compared to Chicago. Um, it's it's night and day, and I think it feels even bigger because everything is accessible through trains, so everything is concentrated, but the concentrated part is big. Um, but it's not that big. Um, everything seems pretty close to each other. After you've been around for a month or two, um, you basically know all the neighborhoods, what's where, and it feels even smaller in the sense that, yes, you might not run into celebrities, but... It's very ru- easy to run into people um, just because it's so dense and most people will hang out around the same spots. This is not because I'm popular. Or I know a lot of people, but I there hasn't been a single weekend where I didn't run into someone coincidentally somewhere. Um, so it feels smaller than you think it would be. Um, dating sucks in New York uh, as it does with anywhere else. I think that's, that's, this is a whole separate video, but... Um, yeah, you would think with the ratio of women to men in the city that everyone talks about with the amplitude of going out opportunities, the number of young people, um, people in college or just outside of college, um, you would think that dating would flourish. But, um, you know, uh, unless you're on apps all day and even then um, dating is harsh in the city. Maybe I'm just not good looking enough, but that's the the vibe that I've been getting. Um, people talk about hustle culture. Uh existing uh maybe this is a positive maybe not a positive perhaps i'm not around the right people or i've been just so used to it it doesn't feel like all culture anymore but i don't really feel it um people are very focused on their careers and that's kind of what everyone talks about but what else are you going to talk about in your early 20s um i don't feel a dying burning desire to work harder because i happen to be around a certain number of people in new york that are hustle culture focused i think my company is very um big on working hard which is good because we want to succeed, but that's not necessarily a New York thing. I haven't really felt that um, extravagantly. Um, I think the biggest cherry on top that beats or exceeds expectations is cost. Um, everyone is, you know, always wary and scared of New York prices. I think with inflation, it's made it even worse. The post-COVID spike of rent isn't going to make it even worse. I've heard of people paying 30, 40% more than what they were paying last year. Um, but just in general, everything is so expensive in New York. Um, you kind of get used to it. And I think nowadays when I pay $20, $30 for a meal, it feels pretty average. Obviously, Chipotle is still t- still $10. But um, yeah, you go to a bar and you're going to spend at least $50 to $100 anytime you go out. It doesn't matter what experience you're having. Um, if you're including the travel costs and the meal and the drinks, um, and sometimes the admission costs or the cover price. Um, everything costs a lot of money um, and sometimes ridiculous amounts of money. I had brunch the other day and a cake costs like $12 a slice. Um, and it was not that great of a cake. Um, so yeah, if I think all in all, um, I guess I wasn't that negative today. But New York is, uh, as with anything, um, not as great as people make it out seem to be. But also not as bad as people make it seem to be. Um, I could see myself peer for a couple more years. I could also see myself getting burnt out um, within the next six months. I don't know what the case is. I do think there is something to be said about living in New York at some point in your life, especially when you're young. I'm glad to have checked it off, but I do miss Southern California. I miss Chicago. Um, but I'm sure if I'm in those places, I'm going to wish I stayed here longer, as I do with all things in life. Um, I highly recommend people to live in New York, at least give it a try at some point in their life if they have the opportunity, but also don't have too high of expectations so that you don't get disappointed when you're actually here because it it's cool um but it's it's not the the greatest place on earth um that's disneyland um jokes aside i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're considering moving to new york i'm happy to answer any questions please um post them uh, in the comments below and as always i will uh see you guys next time maybe in the streets of new york let's go